Hey guys, John Hammond here, still looking at Pico CTF 2017. So, the next challenge is called Mystery Box for 60 points in the miscellaneous category. It says, you found a mystery machine with a sticky note attached to it. Oh, there's also a picture of the machine that you found. Alright, so let's check, check out this picture here. Um, <laughs> and it's a peculiar little box, just like they said, a, a mystery box. Um, I've seen this thing before. Uh, maybe you have, maybe you haven't, I don't know. I like that's this little bit of history, I think it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and download this picture. If you, for whatever reason, didn't know what this was, that's okay. You could go to Google Images, not Google Images, <laughs> and you could kind of upload whatever you particularly wanted to search for, and Google would use that as your search key. So I selected that picture on my file system and got it uploaded, <laughs> and some interesting results. Um, who would win? Know your meme. Um, okay, I see some interesting stuff here. I do see Enigma Encryption Machine. Um there's some big attacks on uh, Alan Turing here. Man, I hope I'm not uh, going to some uncharted territory. It really gets your gears Turing. I hope there's something naval about it. So the hints uh, try and point to this thing as well. The sticky note, if you take a look at it, it explains there, okay, we have some German words here and whatever. It looks like some kind of information. So I'll let the cat out of the bag here. I'll open up the box. <laughs> this is the Enigma machine. So Enigma machine is um, a cryptographic computer, and not so much computer, but a machine that was used during World War II uh, to send messages from Germany. And it was created with a whole lot of intricacies and a lot of complexity so that a mere mortal, a human, would not be able to easily decrypt or understand the messages that were going through it. So it has a plug board, it has rotors, it has a bunch of stuff um, that is particularly named after German pieces, so this doesn't make a whole lot of sense to us, but that's okay. We know they are just inputs to this machine that would spit out some kind of encryption. So let's see what we can get our hands get our hands on if we just look for like Enigma machine online. Uh, looks like there are plenty of online tools to be able to do this. Um, the emulator over here, I think. I had the most success with. If you launch Enigma, we have all of these same settings that we can tune and actually set to the, the, the proper inputs. So using the Navy one, as it said from the hint, using this Umka Herwaltz thing for letter B, uh, the wall, walls and lodge, I guess, isn't defined, so we can leave that. LOG for whatever that thing is runs along is PPP, uh, Plaid Parliament of Poning. Hey, that's kind of a, a funny Easter egg there. And the Stecker Brett, maybe, um, defines, okay, the plug board. So H, G will go to L and H will go to F. Cool. So now we, you type the message that we're trying to go through. So uh, P, X, Q, Q, T, A, M, Y, Y, D, B, C, W, G, Okay. So now we have this string, whatever that is. I'll just put this as flag. Um, I'm going to remove the spaces and it says, oh, 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 quite puzzling indeed. <laughs> okay, that must be the flag. Let's go ahead and try and submit that and see how we do. Try and submit. And we got it. All right, cool. Challenge solved. You're up 60 points. So interesting, interesting challenge. Um, the Enigma machine is kind of in some of those weird esoteric capture the flag games, but it is kind of an interesting, cool tidbit of history if you wanted to read more about it, learn more about it. Um, the Imitation Game is a kind of beautiful and awesome movie, I cry every time, about uh, Alan Turing and the stuff in World War II. So check that out if you haven't seen it before, but I think it's really neat. Um, there are other Pi Enigma uh, utilities if you wanted to do some of the stuff in Python. And uh, we can track that down in a later video if we need to. But it is it is like the Enigma machine emulated in Python. So if you want to check out that, you certainly could. Keep that in mind if you see this stuff in Capture the Flag. Because it is out there. It is, it is kind of common. Sweet. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, I need to give a little shout out to the people that support me on Patreon. All of these individuals are the best individual. Like every single one of them is simultaneously the best. Like 17 people are both all the best person 17 times. So... 
<laughs> hey, one dollar a month on Patreon will give you a special shout out just like this at the end of every video. Five dollars a month will give you early access to everything that I record and create before it gets uploaded on YouTube because I typically record in bulk and then let YouTube like gradually upload things. Uh, hey, if you did like this video, please do press that like button. Maybe leave me a comment if you're willing to subscribe. And if you want to, check me out on Patreon. I appreciate that. There's my website too. Dub dub dub. World Wide Web, <laughs> www.johnhammond.org. See you soon.